Today we're going to talk about web scraping made easy with Magical, which is a free Chrome extension with zero coding knowledge needed. Now, if you've only just got started with web scraping, you might be overwhelmed by the sheer number of options. I mean, scraping is a pretty simple ask. So why is every tool claiming to be the best? Are they all the best? Well, the truth is there are quite a few excellent mature web scraping tools. In principle, many or all of them can probably do what you need it to do, but some tools will be better suited for your needs than others. Now, if you're new to this, you might be wondering, what is a web scraping tool? A web scraping tool can be used to scrape and collect public data, such as digital information like data from websites, databases, and legacy applications. Now, which tool is best for web scraping? Now, there isn't a designated best tool for web scraping, but there are a lot of strong contenders. The best one for you will depend on your specific needs. Now, is web scraping easy to do for even a beginner? Well, if you use a no-code web scraping tool, then it's very easy. Magical makes it super easy to scrape data with little education needed and zero dollars wasted. Now, if you want to get started with Magical, hop over to getmagical.com and install the free Chrome extension. Magical is a Chrome extension that doubles as both a text expander and a great web scraping tool. It's really easy to install and use, and there's zero setup required. And yes, it's entirely no code. While tools like Phantom Buster or Web Automation are better suited for large scale extraction needs, Magical scraping capabilities are geared towards speeding up your everyday workflow. For example, if you find yourself updating your CRMs or ATS a lot with new profiles, Magical is a great choice. It'll teleport the data from your open tabs, such as your LinkedIn profiles of potential prospects, into your chosen destination, such as your CRM or a Google Sheet. Now let's hop into a quick demo with LinkedIn. We're going to use the Magical team for this and transfer a bunch of this data into Google Sheets. Let's try it out. So we're gonna hop into LinkedIn here. And as I mentioned, we are going to use the magical team. So I'm just gonna open a bunch of profiles up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull data from all their profiles at the same time with magical. Okay, so I think we have a good amount of profiles open. And next thing we wanna do is we want to head over to magical. We'll see over here, it's already pulling a handful of different variables and there's a good amount of data here. We can go through and if there's anything we don't want, we can just delete it. So I'm gonna delete mutual connections here. Maybe we don't need that. Then we're going to just head over to this button here. We're gonna press transfer to new spreadsheet. And it's gonna ask us transfer all similar tabs, all tabs. As we can see, Magical is gonna go in and fill out all the data for us. There we go. Um, we have first name, last name, job title, uh, their location. Pretty much anything we selected, the number of followers over here, pretty much anything that we selected um, to keep, it exported to us straight to Google Sheets. Now let's say we wanted to add the skills variable back in. All we need to do is press add more and then go over and select skills. So it's super easy to do. We can choose what we wanna keep, what we wanna get rid of and um, get a whole bunch of data from different tabs put together in a Google Sheets for us within seconds. Gone are the days where you need to go to each page and copy and paste each thing that you wanted to copy and paste. Now Magical's web scraper doesn't only work for LinkedIn, but can also scrape data from almost any website on the internet. Let's scrape from Airbnb, for example. Are you planning your next trip and wanting to compare some Airbnb stays? Well, let's scrape some Airbnbs in the California Bay Area by price, location, and size. So we're gonna head up here and we're gonna pop in San Francisco and let's give it a search and we are going to open a couple of them. Let's see, this one looks pretty nice. We're gonna open this one here. It's a guest favorite. Uh, this one's a super host, so we'll pull, open this one here. And this one too, it's a cute dog. We have, to, we have to pick this one too. And we're gonna pop open Magical. Now, as you can see, Magical is giving us a ton of different information. So I'm going to transfer to new spreadsheet. And once again, I'm gonna press all tabs. So four, five, six, these six tabs, it's going to put it in a spreadsheet for us, all the information that we just selected. So let's press all tabs. And we're just going to wait for Magical to spit out all the information. As we can see, most of them are right in San Francisco. This is the only one that's not. Um, we have our different cleaning fees. Here's price. That's one of the things we mainly wanted to look at. This one's a little bit on the higher end. This one's the most expensive number of reviews. It looks like this one here is the most reviewed. Yeah, this one has 
almost 600 reviews. So we can see that, and since we still have the link uh, or the URL right in here, we can pop back out to the Airbnb page. So here, even total price, so this is with your service fees, with your cleaning fees. We can see that this one is almost double the price of this one, right? So we can do our comparison better when we have it all laid out within a sheet like this. It's a great way to take data from a bunch of different tabs and lay it out so easily right within a Google Sheet. It's as easy as that. It's that easy to scrape data with Magical. I hope I put your mind at ease and showed you that it takes zero code and zero experience to scrape various websites to collect data. Now, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you got some value out of it. And as always, my name is Jumarco and I will see you in the next video.